variety is the spice of life, so we've got it all for you today. Uh, currently driving men wild as a vet nurse in Wild at Heart, actress Dawn Steele is here. And always driving ladies across the land wild, please keep your knickers on. As here to play <laughs> ball and perform for us, it's Michael Ball! <laughs> You too, now, Michael, you looked a little bit shocked at that. You must have had ladies throw their knickers at you at some point. I have had a few land on the stage, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you should see the crew, though, grabbing around, going, oh, we'll have those for the girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what are you going to be singing for us later? For once in my life. You know, oh. the, I, I, the Tony Bennett version is my favourite oh. version, but it's, uh, it's uh, also done by Stevie Wonder. Ma it's a good version, isn't it? Don't you think, Dawn? Yes, it's a very good version. I won't be joining them. But, oh, you know. okay. <laughs> Lovely. Well, we look forward to seeing you both. It's Michael Ball and Dawn Steele, everyone. Woo! And best of luck. Now, whether it's running away from a lion or putting your arm inside an elephant's mouth, it's all just in a day's work at the office for our first guest. As vet nurse Alice Collins in the hit ITV drama Wild at Heart, she's always busy rescuing endangered wildlife. But with the fate of veterinary surgery Leopard's Den now hanging in the balance, it could well be Alice and her family who need the rescuing. I think the UK's a good idea. Well, if you won't go with her, Maybe I should. If you do that, you may not be able to get back before the baby's born. So, maybe we just stay there and have the baby. Well, I have to go too. <laughs> you muffle into going nowhere. Look, you don't have to come now. You know, it's not about you and me. No, it's about me. And, and you, you all seem to be forgetting something. I'm not going anywhere, and that's final. Please welcome Dawn Steele. Yeah, I had to actually fight the urge to do a twirl there with I my know. skirt. <laughs> my skirt is gorgeous. Dawn, before we start, please tell me what's happened to Leopard's Den. Just yeah, you should wait and find out. No, well, we have lost it. <gasps> well, we lost it last week. No, but I we thought thought you would get it back. Well, we might. Oh. <laughs> or we might not. Yeah, I mean, it, we do leave it on a real cliffhanger, sure. you know, because we, we really want to do another series, mm. obviously. Well, we want that to go back to the heat. So that will be series seven if it comes yes. back again. Will, will, you, will you find out soon? Do you know whether it's, it's coming looking back very or? positive. Uh, thanks to all the amazing viewing figures that we've had. Yeah. It's yeah. been really, really good. But, you know, as everything, we are. The last to know. Exactly. Um, but hopefully, I think in a couple of weeks we'll know. How long do you so, spend out there, Dawn, for each series? Six months. Six months. Really? So from like July to December. So it's quite a long time. Yeah, but I mean. So does I'm that not keep wanting. your relationship alive then, well, being away the there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let me start on this. So I was listening to it, listening listen to backstage, and it does. It does actually keep the relationship alive. Not that the relationship was dead, but I've been with Paul nearly four years now. So we're past the three year okay. glit oh, yeah. glitch. 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 Yeah. Yeah. But he comes over to see. You, doesn't yeah, it? yeah. Oh, he gets you know free holidays but as I'm only... inundated with. Uh, but if guests. you've been with him for four years and mm. you're only here at six months, is that not yeah. a two-year relationship? <laughs> 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 you've still got the glitch to come, Flower. I'm oh, sorry, God, but you no, have. That means it's coming next year. Next year. <laughs> oh, be prepared, Paul. Yeah. So what, what, why? Why do you think that? Why do you say it's kept it fresh? Um, because uh, you know I, we might go like two months without seeing each oh. other, and that's the longest we've been, and that gets a bit silly. Mm. Then you're like, mm. right, okay, just just get on a flight and come here. Mm -hmm. And then when you see him, you're a bit like, oh, that's what you look like. Aww. Look at your face. And, you know, and it's always really nice. Uh -huh. um, Has he got so... some bad habits, Dodd? Can we hear about his bad habits? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he can. He would kill me. <laughs> oh, oh, no, hey, he's actually quite good, Paul. But Is I will he... say, bad habits. I think as soon as you start living with someone, you get them immediately, don't yeah. you? And that's yeah. why I'm saying three years. It feels a bit long well, also, to then go, oh, you do Well, also, somebody else's little endearing that. quirks are your really annoying bad habits. So it's yeah. all, you know... He doesn't like an iron. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I like an ironed shirt, um, you know. Yeah. And that kind, you know, he likes it nice and crumpled. That's not yeah. dirty, though, is it? It's not dirty. But, uh, well, I wouldn't say he was dirty. Oh. And but you know, not, if he well, was, not was good then. Well, if he was, I wouldn't tell it here, yeah. <laughs> So instead of ironing your shirt, does he just... Cos we just hang it up in the bathroom put the shower on for a couple of minutes. Or you can just wear <laughs> the creases out of it. Don't give him ideas. You're giving him tips. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just doesn't iron. Oh, yeah. OK. Very OK. Fair. Now, you, you've played a, a, a vet for, what, three years now? 
Yes. And um, what, what's what's this about? You put your hand right into an elephant's mouth. I didn't realise it's got it's got teeth. Right oh no, that was right Stephen that did that. Stephen was put it? yeah. Oh. And and the elephants love um, oranges. So we just oh, half lots of oranges, yeah. and you just squeeze the orange juice into their mouth. So oh. three had her mouth like wide open, and Stephen had a big um, panto tooth. You know, like when you get in panto, yeah. it's like, here's a big tooth. And it was like huge, but it's actually, you know, elephant real size. So he had it kind of in the mouth and a pair of pliers. Oh, um, wow. And he just obviously just pretended to pull it out, but he did it very well. But yeah, she was just drinking orange juice. And did, and did the, the elephant... <laughs> Dramatic. Did the elephant pretend to go, ow? No. Oh. <laughs> Gotta get better elephants. So they put on, like, sound you, effects you afterwards. Vet now, then? They don't Can have, you... like, Italia Conti for elephants. <laughs> <laughs> Now then, have well, you? I'm quite good at the stitching, I must say. Well, when I say quite good, it still looks like a bit of a patchwork quill. Um, but Stephen doesn't really like doing the stitching. And so every time we do it, because, you know, they do, right, we'll do close-up in the hands. And you're like, really? So you've got to really kind of learn how to do it. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. sew up my own dog. Um, but, you know, I could probably do it. I mean, we, we kind of practice on bits of... Oh, it's yeah. horrible. We practice on bits of pork and stuff, which is not very oh, nice. But, yeah, dear. that's you... why I'm a vegetarian now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you mentioned, obviously, you're away six months a year, but while you're back, um, you still work. You're a, what is it? You're, you're touring with the Agatha Christie... Yes, Agatha Christie it? Touring Company. Uh, so it's Bill Ken, right? And this is their sixth <laughs> Agatha Christie play, so I'm doing uh, Verdict, and we're in Southend-on-Sea this week. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, it's our like ninth week tour in it. So okay. yeah, we've got quite a few venues to go. So we've got like we're in High Wycombe next week. We go to Bromley. Uh, we finish in Richmond. We've got um, Cambridge. So and is it your yeah. typical sort of period Agatha Christie it's drama? It's very yeah. Set in 1958, I play a Hungarian physicist. Oh. Yeah, I've got all the kind of good parts. Yeah, so I'm doing a Hungarian accent, which just come along a, just to hear that. How do you do funny. a Hungarian accent? Another glass of sherry, Doctor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was kind of slightly Russian, but yeah. Okay. It's, just, it's just not specified. It says Eastern European, so we've just That's decided it's Hungarian. Yeah, it's but it's you not... can sing, though, can't you? Can I? Yeah, I heard you can sing. Wouldn't no, you like don't, to I'm not going to do that. Uh, you, wouldn't you like to do a musical? I would love to do a musical. I, I just don't know if I'm good enough. I'd love to do Chicago. Yeah. I was quite jealous when you did your... When Dancing I did me dancing, dancing Roxy, yeah, Roxy, you did Roxy your arms Hart. and all that, I was like, mm. yeah. Um, Apparently, my arms were like window washers or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm better. That's one of my. That's one of my best moves. The swing on the bus goes swish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chicago next. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Does, does he hide? Um, thanks for coming back to see us. Yeah, it's it's always lovely right. having it's you on the show. It's always nice to come on. Yeah, it's, I have to say hello to yeah. all the cast of Verdict and Matt, who's watching. Oh, yes. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Don't They're all in everyone. South End, don't see. Bye. <laughs> A break, but when we return, who will be crowned the 2011 <laughs> Pancake Day Tosser of the Year? Ooh. I hope you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my oh. action. <laughs> We've got competitive tossing back soon. <laughs> oh.